Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Whiskey Warehouse Side Channel uh, Brews and Booze Reviews. We've uh, made a little uh, channel name change, so I like it. You like it? I like it. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, today we're in Idaho on a family vacation about an hour away from Boise, or two hours, right? Mm -hmm. two, two hours, hours south. Yeah, two hours south of Boise. And uh, we are doing a review on this Idaho whiskey, which is called Seven Devils Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Mm -hmm. I've had it already, as you can see. It's it's very good. It's different. But the, th uh, the uh, funny thing about it is that it's actually not distilled here. Mm -hmm. It's actually distilled in Kentucky, and it's bottled here. So it's, I wouldn't say it's a 100% Idaho whiskey, or Idaho, Idaho bourbon, or whatever. But, um... It's still pretty cool. Yeah, it's Idaho's first um, whiskey here. So, let's uh, go ahead and hop into it. I'm Sarah, by the way. You probably remember me. Yes, yes. <laughs> From now on, it's going to be me, Nick, and Sarah, my fiance. It's no longer going to be me anymore because it's a little boring with just me. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys have any suggestions on future reviews, just let us know. I did post a um, a picture on our socials on um, this uh, Canadian whiskey that I found around here that might be interesting to review. That was kind of um, mm -hmm. a different tasting it was too. Really good. Yeah, it was good. It's definitely uh, I haven't tasted a Canadian whiskey like it, so that'd be a interesting review too. So. Uh, I think I should read the back of the bottle. Okay. Can you hand it Let's to have me? Sarah read the back of the bottle. It's very interesting. Koenig Distillery crafts Idaho's first bourbon whiskey with a hand-selected mash made from corn, rye, and malted barley. Distilled in the heart of America's bourbon country, the whiskey is blended with water from snow-topped peaks of the Seven Devils Mountain Range, located in western Idaho's Majestic Hells Canyon Recreation Area. The result is a smooth whiskey with the perfect balance of grains and oak. Let's see if it lives up to that. Let's see. That was very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, bottled at Koenig Distillery. It doesn't Bo say That's distilled. That's what I was reading, yeah. It doesn't say distilled. Um, it's bottled by Koenig Distillery, Caldwell, Idaho. So what's Koenig Distillery then? Is that... That's just a bottling distillery. I they did just some, bottle stuff there? Yeah. They don't distill anything, even though it's called a distillery? It's not called a distillery. It oh, yeah, it is a distillery. distillery. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, I did some research on it, and it's um, distilled in Kentucky, aged in Kentucky, and then it's bottled here to be sold. It's not, it's 90 proof, but it's pretty, it's pretty smooth. So they just fly barrels over here? I guess. I don't know how else they mm, do I it. I doubt it. Dry barrel? I don't, I don't know. Semi-truck. You um, can just... What, what planes are flying barrels? Giant barrels on them. It's not happening. I don't know. Maybe the... Well, Idaho doesn't have the best um, temperatures to it, distill whiskey. It's, it's too like cool the, here. It looks like the phone tilted. Did it? Shit, it did. How, how long? I don't she... know how long it's been like that. Shit. All right. Shit. All right, let's just start. So, this whiskey was not distilled in Idaho. It was just bottled in Idaho. It was distilled in Kentucky, and I guess it was transported somehow over to Idaho to be bottled. Probably by truck, I would say. Probably by truck, I guess. Because it says on the back, bottled by Can Koenig Distillery, not um, distilled. But it, so, yeah. So I've heard it's pretty good. Um, let's uh, let's get into it, I guess. Yeah, smell it. Yep, the smell. You know what's funny? What? As I do get like a sweet corn smell. Yeah. From that. Yeah, bourbons have to be fifty-one percent corn. Caramel corn. So yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I definitely get caramel on this. says it's supposed to be a perfect balance of grains and oak so i wonder if we're gonna taste that we might perfect balance that's a strong that's combination a, of words to put together it is when i when i tried it um i got it is a little balance. oaky for me but 
Huh? I forget. I tried it a couple days ago with you when you first got it. I forget what it tastes like. Yeah. So it's like the first time for me again. First time I tried it, it <laughs> it was okay. But then the second time I tried it, I really fell in love with it. That's how a lot of whiskeys are. Yeah. Honestly. All right. Like, that's why I, I always keep trying the ones that we have at the house. If you're drinking it at the house, I'm like... Let me just take a sip of that. You're like, honey, you're going to hate it. I'm like, no, but my taste buds are in, like evolving to appreciate whiskey a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the, yeah, that's so true. So keep trying it. You can't just try it once and say, ooh, I hate it, and then never go back to it. You have to keep trying it. You know, that that kind of sucks because a lot of people do that. You got you to gotta keep that's practicing. That's you have to appreciate it. Yeah, you got to keep Literally. practicing. You, you got to tune your palate to whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's true. Like, when I first tried, I can't remember what it was, one of the ones that we had. I hated it, and then I tried it again, and I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember what kind that was, though. Do you remember? <laughs> I have no idea. God, we're, we drink so much damn whiskey. It's crazy. Yeah, we have a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like a bar at our house. Yeah, I get, I get oak, obviously. You'll get that from any bourbon. I definitely get... Like a smoky oak smell, for sure. I get that. I get With some... sweet corn. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know when you have, like, the cream corn uh-huh. from the cans and stuff? And yeah. You it? That's what it smells like. Okay, yeah, I can get that. I get some maple syrup, too. Which, that, I haven't had. Like, every time I smell these whiskeys with you, I'm like, caramel, vanilla, oak. A lot of them are similar. That, they're all the same, but this one definitely has that sweet corn. It's different. I feel like th- I get some cherry on this. Considered a bourbon, huh? Vanilla. That's what it says on the bottle. It says it's a bourbon. Yeah, it's what it says on the bottle. Because it was distilled in Kentucky. So. You're distilled in Kentucky. Oh, no. I was born in Cincinnati. I'm distilled in Kentucky. That's where my family's from. Okay. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy. All right, you going to give it a taste? Yes. See, the first taste is mostly alcohol. Ooh. It cleanses the palate. So on the second and uh, taste and above, you get more of the flavors. It tastes mostly alcohol, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll get our second sip in here. Oh, that's hitting my stomach pretty fast. Yeah. Does the smell change? When you taste it, it does. Go and smell it again. I just did. Yeah. I get cherry in the taste. It's a little herbal. Almost. Yeah, I, I don't. I wouldn't get any. I don't. I don't taste any cherry. I taste more. What do you get? It's like acidic in a way. Acidic. Hmm. It's weird. Let me do that again. I'll get back with you on that. Cause. Hold up on that thought. On the second one, I got vanilla, cherry, a little bit of herbal notes. Almost minty, but not, not to that level. Like grassy. Yeah, you know. you know what? Do you get that? I taste the cherry and the vanilla that you're talking about. Yeah. Unless you're convincing my brain that that's what I taste. <laughs> well, if someone points out they taste something, your you brain will be like, yeah, we well, get so. that too. Yeah. 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 But I do taste that. Yeah. I got something acidic, though. Hmm. Before he said that, I don't know what it was, but it was acidic and kind of harsh. It's, it's a weird little weird how every time you taste it, it's something different. How fascinating is that? It's crazy. You can't get that with any other alcoholic Spirit. beverage. No, you can't. Whiskey is its Whiskey own is thing. Whiskey is its own thing, for yeah, sure. It is, for sure. Hear an echo? That's a bird. No, that was you copying what I just said. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, I kind of get what you're saying. There's a little citrus note, kind of an orange. That yes, there's. Yeah. I don't know, like a almost lemon. I don't know. Might be some. Like a like a slight. Like an orange rind. Well, maybe? you know how you taste lemon, and then there's lemon rind. There's a slightly different it's flavor bitter, to more it. More bitter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's fascinating. What am I gonna taste now? Mmm. That smells like a cigar humidifier thing. Huh? Humidor. 
Does it? A little Dude, bit. Dude, it smells like a sauna. That's what it smells like. It's oaky, for sure. That's what you smell. It's you know oak. when you sit in a sauna and you smell the the rocks burning? The and, charcoal. And, and like, the, the wood and yeah. stuff? That's, that's it. That's exactly what that is There right you go. Now. Strong sense of oak and charcoal. Yeah. So it says perfect balance of grains and oak. I get the oak. You can definitely smell it. You can smell it. You can taste it. The grains. Make sure it's still recording. Did it stop? No, we're good. Just no battery. 20%. We're good. All right. Say what you were saying. You also get a slight sense of green. I don't know what grain I would taste in that. Corn. Oh, the corn. Yeah. yeah you tasted uh, that before. So grain, grain, um, and the sense of cream corn, um, from the sweet corn. That's definitely the sweet note, but you definitely get the oak from that too, but also more so in the, in the smell. It's definitely. Maybe mine, smell, maybe mine just smells, but mine smells like a sauna. A little bit. You're smelling most of the oak. I smell the oak too, but there's other other other, other things there too. But now that I'm tasting it, I'm just smelling oak. I smell tobacco. There's not much. There's so not this much is spice. This someone to... smoking a sweet cigar in the sauna. There you go. Literally, it's 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 incredible. It actually smells really good. I love the smell of saunas. I love saunas. There's not much spice to it. Man, it's good. It's sweet. I don't get better as you taste it. I'm getting it. maraschino cherry now. It's getting, the cherry's getting sweeter. Toasted cherries. <laughs> Toasted cherries. <laughs> Baked cherries. Baked cherry pie. The cherry pie? You taste cherry pie? No. No? Not that sweet? No. But do you get the maraschino cherry? It's not that sweet. No? I'm getting it. I'm Toasted getting it. cherry. And keep in mind, like... You'll get similar notes as, you know, anyone who's drinking this, but at, at the same time, you'll get your own taste to it as well. Like, yeah. I'm smelling really strong sauna. He's not. He's tasting some weird maraschino cherries. I don't, not tasting that at all. I taste cherry, but just not that sweet. I, I, I am. I don't know why. I just. I taste like a. It's definitely woody. Very oaky. Like the actual fruit, the berries, cherry. Yeah. That's what I taste. You're tasting like the, the fake cherries. Artificial cherry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just a reminder, this is the special Idaho episode. So we are shooting in Idaho. As you can see in the background, I'm sure you can see the mountains. I'm That's not sure beautiful. which mountains those are. Do you remember? Cascade Mountains. Cascade Mountains or Salmon River Mountains. They're part of the. the they're part of the Rocky Mountain mountain, mountain range. range. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely part of that. But guys, it's beautiful here. I. I could live here. I really could. Um, the liquor stores here are really amazing. The <laughs> one that we found, three Blantons at. I must say, because that happened on this Idaho trip. Yeah. Three Blantons, different letters. Yeah, T I, O and an N. Yep. yep. And this, it, this bottle came from that exact liquor store as well. I'll I'll post that picture on on our socials. Just check that out. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. And uh, I think this is a. It gets cool here at night too, and you see. It's a fake cork. You see an incredible amount of stars. Only thirty bucks. Pretty cheap. Everyone, everyone that we have told that we're going to visit Idaho, they're like, why? Why are you going there? Well, it is literally one of the prettiest places I've ever seen in my life. It's it's incredible here. And it's fascinating to know that they have an Idaho whiskey. And That's they also cool. have breweries in town, too. Camp we hit up one last night. Yeah, yeah and it, it was really good. But it would just be nice if they actually had a... Like a distillery. I mean, it says distillery. They have. We should do some more research on that. Yeah, it's not uh, one of your regular distilleries like in Kentucky. They just bottle. They just bottle stuff. So I. They don't even use a real cork. That's kind of disappointing. Well, you know, it's they're new. 
I guess. Yeah, they are new. Yeah. This has, this is interesting. I, I don't know if you tasted this on the first taste, but it was a little thick. Not thick, thick, but just like it was not runny, like liquidy. Like your Irish whiskeys, I think, are a little bit thinner. These, this You're exactly one is, right. Yeah. This one's thicker. It's a little thicker. Yeah. We can't really. And if you, if you see how the legs go, because we don't have the Ben Karen. Yeah. If, yeah. If you do it. You can kind of test how thick the whiskey is. You're going down a little slow. You can't see them from here, obviously, but I didn't remember to bring my Glen Cairns because I didn't. We're using the old cell phone today because we didn't remember to get all the stuff for the camera. So, apologies for that. And it's not like it would have been plausible to bring it on the plane. Either. I know. We yeah. We had a carry on that had plenty of stuff in it, and we're bringing plenty of stuff back because we got a bunch of souvenirs. Bringing so, this bag plus three, three other bottles. Yeah. <laughs> but now, like, look, you can see how slow it's coming yeah. down. Yeah, it's, it's a little thicker. thicker. It's coming down slower. It's yeah. coming down. It's actually, I mean, I would, I could drink this. I could drink this, I think, comfortably with, like, ice. one little thing of ice. Just okay. one. That's all it would need. In the summer, I agree with you. Ice cube. But I could drink it straight. It's, it's, it's tasty. It's not, it's not bad at all. I mean, I have a uh, Woodford Reserve in there right now that, uh, I, that, um, my dad provided for us and i actually prefer this over that he actually bought this bottle too shout out to dad thank you so much shout out to ed yep he's and the man for one of the blantons yeah too. He, he bought our first bottle of blantons he did awesome man awesome thank you so much and thank you for bringing us on this trip too. yes this has been yeah a trip of a life he's paid time. for everything he's a really good guy oh my god couldn't thank him enough i know so uh you want to wrap it up Let's wrap it up. Alright. Are so, you getting uh, a light hug from this? I'm not getting a traditional Kentucky hug. As no, much. it's, it's kind of light. I'm getting a light hug. A light hug. Like a side hug. A side hug. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's what I got. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm not sure when we will post this. Probably on Monday we'll get back. And then we'll try to post... We're trying to post every week, but with this vacation, it's been kind of hard. So, we'll just post as soon as we can. So, Especially uh, when we just got internet, like, the yesterday. I know, like, the half of this trip, we haven't had internet, so it kind of sucked. Yeah. That's okay. It's <laughs> yeah. actually quite relaxing. Yeah. I enjoyed that. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I have an idea. So, um, we'll see you guys next episode. As an outro, we'll give you a couple of views. We'll show you around the yard. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, that was a strong one. <laughs> was it? Very strong. All right, so this is the backyard of the house that we're staying at. There's a fire pit out here. Why is there a knife on the roof? Um, what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know Just why. in case them cougars come and get us. There's moose here. There's moose. There's, there is moose here. There's I'm moses. so excited. Moose. <laughs> So there's a fire pit, Meese. and we're right on a lake right here, as you can see. I'll take you down a little, oh, there's a uh, big ass bug right there's there. A wild bug. Wild bug. Don't it's know where he went. We've seen Watch out for that a lot of, yeah, we've seen barking squirrels here. They're very loud. And some barking bugs too. I'm sure you can hear them back there. And then this is kind of a launch. It doesn't really have a dock on this part. There's kind of these stone stairs, as you can see. And then, uh-oh, there's an animal in there. Oh, where is it? I heard something in there. Yeah, might have been a snake. Maybe. But they, they provide a canoe, kayak. We've used those and explored a little bit around here. We actually saw a, or I saw a uh, bald eagle earlier yesterday which is really cool those things are huge and then this is how we would get to a boat we actually got off a boat ride like an hour ago a pontoon boat yeah and we rented a jet ski had a lot of fun see there's the uh the lake looks like a river but it kind of feeds 
into a bigger lake out there. It's pretty big. So, uh, yeah. And I'll show you guys the house we're staying at. Hi. Sarah. There's the house we're staying at. Really nice house. I would definitely recommend it. If you're anywhere near Boise, or about an hour south of it, close to McCall, Idaho. Yep, that's about it. I switch this around. Yeah, switch this around. Mm. I have switch it around. Can I not do it while I'm recording? think so all right well <laughs> we will see you guys next week bye